Welcome to Soulful Yoga with June. Namaste. So we'll start off with our sun salutation, saluting the sun. We're going to open up the legs nice and wide, turn the toes out to the side, get a nice wide stance, a wide horse stance as it were. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Deep cleansing breaths, stretching those arms up to the sky. Deep breaths, bending those knees. Big inhale, big exhale, in through the nose, out through the nose. We're going to keep the heat in the body. Now we're going to reach for the sky as if we're climbing a ladder. Don't just put those hands up there, really reach. You feel that stretch in the arms, feel it in the rib cage, feel it in the shoulder blades. Mm, deep cleansing breaths. Reaching for the sky, feeling that stretch, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Now extending those arms out to the side, place that left hand on the hip, reach that right hand up and over, deep stretch. We do the same thing on the other side, right hand comes to the hip, left arm up and over. Mm, deep cleansing breaths, relaxing the muscles of the face. Looking up to the sky, deep breaths, back to center, last time, same thing on the other side, reach, side angle stretch, deep breaths, lifting both hands up to the sky, bring the hands to heart center, back to namaste, breathe, feel free to make sound with the breath, feel free to moan, groan, or sigh. Extending those arms out to the side, turning to the left, extending that left leg. Make sure that knee is above that left heel. Then lifting with that left arm up to the sky. Exalted warrior pose. We're going into our warrior series now. This is the warrior poses. Now we're going to bring that left arm down, right arm goes up, triangle pose. Deep breaths, coming back to center. Don't, wonder, don't worry if you're going a little too fast. You can take your time. You can always stop the, stop the video. Find your footing. This video is just meant to show you different poses. When we get together in person, then I can take my time with you and show you exactly how to get into the pose. Right now, I'm just showing you examples of basic yoga poses, deep cleansing breaths, in through the nose, out through the nose, stretching those arms out to the side, breathe, lifting both arms up, bring the hands to heart center, namaste, deep breaths, feel free to moan, groan, sigh, yawn. So now we're going to make our ways to all fours. Deepening the breath, relaxing the face, going into our cat pose. So in cat pose, we're arching the back, kind of like a Halloween cat. Lift the head up, lifting that tailbone, then we round the back again, Halloween cat. Lifting the head, slowly turning the head side to side. Deep breaths. Relaxing the muscles of your face. Feel free to yawn, moan, groan, sigh. Mm, deep cleansing breaths. Now, think of that tailbone. Isolate that tailbone and just wag the tail side to side. You can bring those arms into it. Now we're going to pull back into the child's pose, extended child's pose, with those arms reaching forward, pulling that tailbone back. Deep breaths. Now we're going to lift up into downward facing dog, going right from the cat to the dog. Lifting that tailbone up to the sky, stretching those arms. 
going into that plank pose. Deep breaths. Bending those knees, lifting that head up to the sky, lowering those hips, lowering those thighs. Right into that upward facing dog, pulling back into child's pose. Tailbone comes back, arms reach forward. Breathe, relax the face, relax the breath. Deep cleansing breaths. Coming back to our cat pose. Curl those toes under, lift that tailbone up. Tailbone goes up, lifting that right leg up to the sky. Deep breaths, pointing those toes up to the sky. Think of bringing your chest toward that left knee and then we're gonna turn to the right, bending that right knee. Deep breaths into that dog split. Same thing on the other side. Lift that opposite leg up. Breathe. Deep breaths. Don't worry if it's going a little too fast. Right now we're just watching, looking at the various poses. You can always pause the video. Take a moment to get into that pose. Now if you're doing this for the first time, you may not want to turn to the side with that bent knee. You might want to just lift that leg up and keep it up for a while. Breathe. Deep breaths. Doing only what we can do today. No expectations. No judgment. Deep breaths. Coming back to all fours. Deep cleansing breaths. Throw those toes under. Lift that tailbone up. Big inhale, lift that right leg up to the sky. Turn the torso to the right, bend that right knee behind you if you feel comfortable. If that doesn't work today, if that doesn't feel comfortable with your body, take a break. Know that you can take a break at any time. You can always go down into child's pose if something becomes too challenging for you. Breathe. Remember, this video is designed just to show you the poses. This is not a class. When we meet in person, we'll take our time to get into the poses. This is just designed to show you some of the basic yoga poses. Deep breaths, going back to that upward facing dog. Deep cleansing breaths. Walking those hands toward the feet, hang like a rag doll, slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time. Take your time. Do only what you can do today. Breathe. Relax the face, relax those shoulders. Rotate those wrists. Deep breaths. Now we're going to bring those arms behind us. Interlace those fingers. Forward fold. Lifting those arms as the head goes down, the arms go up. Do only what you can do. No competition, no judgment, no expectations. Breathe, lifting that torso. Extend those arms behind you. Mmm, feels good. Forward fold. Deep breaths, going into that flat back. Lift those arms up. Take your time. Breathe. Keeping those legs straight if you can. Lifting that torso, lift that chin up to the sky, breathe, and gentle release. Extending those arms behind us, deep cleansing breaths. Lifting that heart up to the sky, gentle release, rotate those wrists, breathe, deep breaths, rotating those shoulders. Now we're going to make a gentle fist, place it on the back and lift that chest up to the sky, lift that chin for a nice back bend. Deep breaths, gentle fist on either side of the back, gentle release, rotate those shoulders forward and back. Deep breaths, sweeping both arms up, bring those hands together, bring that, those fingers those thumbs to heart center. Gently lifting that right leg, placing that right foot against the opposite 
legs, sweeping both arms up, deep breaths, gentle release, bringing the hands to heart center, that right foot is coming to that opposite calf, if we can, we'll bring it up a little higher, above the knee, deep breaths, deep cleansing breaths, lifting those arms up into that tree pose, deep cleansing breaths, Relax the face, relax the breath. Good, and then you can open up those branches of your tree. Relaxing the face. Deep breaths. Coming back to heart center. And now we'll try the same thing on the other side. Bend those knees if you like, lifting up those heels, deep cleansing breaths, opening up the branches of the tree, that opposite foot is against that opposite calf, deep breaths, relaxing the muscles of the face. We're going to do tree pose a little bit later too, so you'll see what's happening with my feet. Deep breaths, deep cleansing breaths, and now we're going to just twist from side to side, deep breaths, allow those arms to flop against your body, kind of like that drum with the strings and the two balls, and you just turn it from side to side, allow those arms to be those loose strings, breathe, turning side to side. Deep breaths. Notice that you don't have to hold yourself together. So now we're going to bring that right foot forward. Deep breaths. That back foot is going to be turned at about a 45 degree angle. Sweeping both arms up. Big inhale. Looking up to the sky. Breathe. Deep breaths. Going into that warrior one pose. And you can bring the hands together, point those index fingers up in Shiva Mudra. That's the name of that hand position, Shiva Mudra. Bringing those hands back down to heart center. Thumbs coming to the sternum. Deep breaths, turning the torso. So now that right arm is over that right leg. That right knee is bent. Bending that right elbow, sweeping, going back into that side angle stretch. Breathe, looking up to the sky, coming back to center. Good, going back to that exalted warrior. Same thing we did a little earlier. Breathe, deep breaths. Relax the face, relax the breath, extend those arms. Try to keep both hands in alignment with the shoulders. You don't want one arm going lower than the other. Now we're going to turn, so now that left foot is forward, that right foot is back, turned at a 45 degree angle. Bending that left elbow, place that forearm on the thigh, up and over with that opposite arm, side angle stretch. Breathe, extending both arms, keeping both hands in alignment with the shoulder. Deep breaths, good, deep cleansing breaths. Exalted warrior, coming back to that warrior two. Deep breaths, sweeping both arms up. Bring the hands together into heart center. Breathe, deep breaths. Forward fold, go right into that rag doll. Deep breaths, let those hands hang like a rag doll. Relax the head. Now if you want to deepen that stretch, Take the hands, reach behind those ankles, push your head through your legs as if someone were pulling your head from behind. Then release those arms back into that rag doll. Deep breaths, allow the head to move from side to side if you like. You can swing the torso from side to side if you like. Deep cleansing breaths. Good, let those hands hang. Deep breaths. Come walking the hands over to that left leg 
Walking the hands over to that right leg, bring the forehead to the knee, into that pyramid. So the inside of your legs is making the shape of a pyramid. Coming back to center, wide in the stance of the feet, a nice wide, wide stance, a wide downward facing dog. Breathe, feel that stretch. Toes in, heels in, heels in, toes in. Coming back to center. Deep breaths, bringing that head toward that knee. Deep cleansing breaths. Same thing we did on the other side, going into that pyramid. Now we're going to bend that knee. Make sure that knee is above the heel. So if you need to scooch that foot forward a little more, make sure that knee is directly above that heel. Getting that runner's pose, that runner's stretch. Now turning your torso, lifting that arm up to the sky, starfish hands. Deep cleansing breaths. Breathe. See if you can look up to the sky. Getting that runner's pose, that runner stretch. Deep breaths. Now straightening that leg, bringing that forehead to that knee, getting a nice deep pyramid pose. Rebend that knee, coming back to center. Heels in. Walking the hands all the way over to that opposite leg. Bending that knee. That knee is above the heel. Nice runner's pose, nice runner's stretch. Deep breaths. Flattening that palm, turning the torso, lifting that opposite arm up to the sky, starfish hands. Deep cleansing breaths. Look up to the sky if you can. Breathe. Now bring that foot back to meet the other. Back into that nice downward facing dog. And going back into that child's pose. Reach those hands forward, extended child's pose. Deep cleansing breaths. Mmm, upward facing dog. Breathe, deep breaths. Good, bending those elbows to where they're bending and pointing behind you. Preparing to lift up. Good, nice upward facing dog, bending those knees down into a cobra. Deep breaths, lifting that torso up to the sky, look up. Deep cleansing breaths, slowly coming down, feel what's happening with those triceps, feel what's happening with the triceps. We're going to reach back, hold on to those ankles. If you are modifying, you can just hold on to one ankle at a time and bring that opposite arm forward. This is the bow. We're going to lift up, holding on to those ankles. Take a nice big breath, lifting the head, lifting the chest. Good. Lower it back down. Breathe. Deep cleansing breaths. Lift up. As you lift the head, lifting the feet, try to pull the ankles away from the hands, getting a nice deep stretch. Breathe. Deep cleansing breaths. Big inhale, lift. Lifting the head, lifting the feet up and out, ankles pulling away from the arms to feel that stretch. Bring those palms forward at chest level. Lifting the head, lifting the torso, pulling back into child's pose. Get that stretch. Deep breaths. Good. A nice wide child's pose. So we're going to open up those knees. Keep the toes together, but open up those knees nice and wide to the width of your mat. Nice wide child's pose. Pulling those glutes back toward the heels and resting on those forearms. Breathe. Deep breaths, coming back to all fours, good, lifting that right leg up, that left arm comes forward, opposite arm, opposite leg, breathe, good, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, lift that left leg up, right arm comes forward, breathe, stretching that arm forward, keeping everything in alignment with the torso, deep breath, same thing again, opposite leg, opposite arm, Keeping that hand flat, now we're going to reach for that opposite ankle. Opposite hand reaches opposite ankle, lifting up. 
deep breaths. Do the same thing on the other side. Opposite leg, opposite arm. When you're ready, reach for that opposite ankle. Lift up. Breathe. Good. Deep breaths. Pull back into that child's pose. Take a break. Now coming into our hero's pose. Sitting on those heels. Deep breaths. Bring those hands behind you. Lift up that chest. Lift up that torso. Lift up those hips. Those toes should be flat. Deep breaths. Good. Back to hero's pose. Resting those palms on the thighs. Hero's pose. Deep breaths. Good. Deep cleansing breaths. Back to that hero's pose. Good. Deep breaths. Now sitting those hips onto this onto the mat. We're gonna reach over into a side angle stretch, keeping those knees bent, heels tucked under you. Big inhale, turn that torso, look behind you. Deep breaths. Good. Back to that hero's pose. Now allow those hips to fall over to the opposite side. Good. Deep breath, side angle stretch. Again, when we meet in person, we'll take our time. We'll work through all of these poses and these transitions so you'll know exactly how to get into it. Turning that torso as far as you can. Remember this video is designed just to show you the poses. When we meet in person, we can work through all of these poses. Deep breaths. Good, now we're gonna go into a nice staff pose, bringing those legs forward. So we're gonna pull back. Good, deep breaths. Now we're gonna point the toes, point the fingers, lifting the arms up. Deep breaths, flex the feet, bring those toes toward the nose. Good, breathe, pull back, bring those hands together. Good, now push forward, pointing the toes, pointing those fingers, lifting up. The hands are now in Shiva Mudra, extending those arms out to the side. Flex the feet, flex those toes, breathe. Push forward, pointing the toes, pointing the fingers. Good, lift those arms up and extend those arms deep breaths now bringing the soles of the feet together deep cleansing breaths good forward fold breathe feel that stretch placing the elbows right at the inside of those knees pressing those knees down feel that stretch Breathe, deep cleansing breaths, in through the nose, out through the nose, round the back, hollowing out the belly, hollowing out the belly, deep breaths. Mm. Relax the face, relax the breath, good, round the back, hollowing out the belly. Now lift that heart up to the sky, lift the chin, round the back, hollowing out the belly, deep breaths. Deep cleansing breaths, releasing any unnecessary tension from the neck, from the shoulders, forward semicircles, side to side, relax the face, relax the breath, forward semicircles, mm, deep breaths, releasing the muscles of the face, release all that unnecessary tension. Ah, wiggle the nose, move the jaw, open the mouth, stick out that tongue, breathe, deep breaths, extending those arms, give yourself a nice hug, that right arm should be on top of the left, good, and now rotate from the spine, give yourself a nice loving hug, as if you're comforting a friend, Breathe, deep cleansing breaths. Mm, feel free to moan, groan, or sigh. 
deep breaths, relaxing the muscles of the face, extend those arms, good, place those fingertips on those shoulders, rotate those elbows, deep breaths, opposite direction, relax the muscles of the face, deep cleansing breaths, good. Now, switch the position of the feet. If you have the left leg forward, cross it so that the left leg is on the inside now. And opposite arm. So if you had that right arm on top before, now it should be the left arm as you give yourself that hug. Give yourself that loving hug. Go into that rotation from the spine. Breathe deep breaths. Take your time. Comfort yourself. Feel free to rest your head on your own shoulder as if you're comforting a friend. Extending those arms up to the sky, interlace those fingers, press the heels of the hands up to the sky. Rotate those wrists. Breathe deep breaths. Remember to breathe. Back to that staff, fo staff pose. Pointing and flexing. The feet wiggling those toes, show them some love. Deep breaths. Now we're going to cradle the baby. Bring that heel in, gently cradle the baby side to side. Bring that knee in towards the chest, feel that stretch. And now take a moment to give yourself a loving massage. Massage that foot, wiggle those toes. Deep breaths. Same thing on the other side, cradle that baby. Breathe, relax the face, relax the breath. Hold that knee in, feel that pose, feel that stretch. Good, now relax that ankle on that opposite thigh, give yourself that massage. Bending the toes forward, bending them back gently, do only what you can do. Point and flex, wiggle those toes. Now bend that right knee, bring that right ankle onto the outside of the left thigh, turn that torso to the right, look past that right shoulder, breathe, look behind you, deep breaths. Same thing on the other side, bend that left knee, left ankle's on the outside of that right thigh, turn the torso to the left, look behind you, past that left shoulder, breathe. Deep breaths, do only what you can do. Feel that torso twist. Deep cleansing breaths, back to center. Good, sweep both arms up, big inhale. Forward fold, flex the feet, toes coming toward the nose. Bring that forehead toward your knees, breathe. Deep breaths. See if you, bring your, if you can bring your chest toward your thighs. Do only what you can do, no competition, no judgment. Deep breaths. Extend those legs nice and wide. Bring the hands behind the hips, scoot the hips forward to deepen that stretch. Breathe, deep breaths. Opposite hand toward the opposite foot. Breathe, side, side angle stretch. Same thing on the other side, side angle stretch. Opposite hand. Deep breaths, relax the face, relax the breath, doing only what we can do today, take your time, no competition, no judgment, sweeping those arms up and forward fold, palms facing the earth, see if you can walk those fingers forward to deepen that stretch, see if you can bring your chest toward your mat. Keep those legs straight, keep the feet flexed, keep those toes alive. Keep those legs straight, resist the urge to allow those toes to fall forward. Keep them pointing straight up to the sky. Now release, bring those legs in. Deep breaths, recline onto your back. Hug those knees into your chest, gently rock from side to side. Breathe, deep breaths, open up those legs, point the toes, straight legs. In and out, nice wide stretch, pointing the toes and then flex the feet. See how it feels to flex the feet as we open and close those legs. Feel that stretch. One leg up, one leg down. 
pointing the toes, deepening the stretch, relax the face, relax the shoulder blades onto your mat. Deep breaths, bending those knees, going into that bicycle. Deep cleansing breaths. Good. Now we're going to prepare for that bridge pose. So we're lifting the torso, lifting the hips up. Good. If you want to really do a nice, nice advanced bridge pose, or more of a challenging bridge pose, you can round those shoulder blades in, interlace those fingers underneath the hips, bring those heels in. Deep breaths and gentle release. You can keep those knees bent, open up the legs, grab the big toes, happy baby pose. Side to side, happy baby pose. Or in Texas, they call it dead bug pose. <laughs> Deep breaths. Good. Now allow those knees to fall over to the right. Turn your head to the left. Turn those arms to the left. Feel that stretch in the torso. Deep breaths. Same thing on the other side. Lift those hips up so you can scooch the hips over to the right as you turn the knees to the left. Turn your face to the right. Your face should be going opposite direction of the knees. Deep breaths. Remember, you can stay in these poses a little longer. This video is just meant to show the poses. You can always pause it and stay in the pose a little longer. Do whatever feels right for your body. Deep breaths. Open up those knees, going into that goddess pose. Deep breaths. Extend those legs. Relax the face. We're preparing for Shavasana. Shavasana is our corpse pose, our relaxation pose. Stay in it for as long as you like. Pause the video. And when you're ready, you can come out of it. And go into your Namaste. Deep breaths. So you're listening to the music of the very talented Suzanne Bain, Honey Onyx Music. The tracks you've heard on this video are from her Honey Onyx Volume 2 CD, which is available on iTunes, or you can go to SuzanneBain.com. So make sure you check her out. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me. Uh, like I said throughout the video, if you'd like to have a private, personal, customized yoga session with me, please visit me at uh, elizabethjune.com and we can, uh, you can shoot me an email and uh, we can set up a time where we can meet and we can go through all of the poses. And um, if you have limited mobility, you can find modifications for any of the poses that you've seen in this video today. So again, thank you so much. As you see here, we're doing a little bit of the tree pose. So you can see some of the uh, foot placement for the tree pose. And um, if you have any questions, like I said, shoot me an email at uh, elizabethjunesag at gmail.com. But it's all on the website. And I look forward to hearing from you. Hello. Hello. Hello.